your life, you're gonna own nothing. You own three things, okay? You own your fitness, you own your thoughts and emotions. Nihau ma! What told me to shoot Abdullah? Welcome back to another motherfucking episode from the Glucose Network! Tutu 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 Quai quai quai! Start cooking the kunji man, I'm hungry! Uh... Waxy! Just on my way to the gym now. It's 4.30 in the fucking morning, like. I'm all about that early morning lifestyle these days, mate. Fuck, what's going on, bro? It's my fucking boy in the background, bro. I'm about to go get an early morning training session in, and then I'm gonna go for a bike ride with my mate around 7 a.m. I like to train hell early these mornings. Just get it out of the fucking way so I have the whole day to do shit. I hate fucking getting training done. If I train at like nine, finish by like 11, and then go for a bike ride, mate, by the time I get home, it's time to go to bed. So I just got to Albert Park. I just finished training. It's about 7 a.m. in the morning. Good training session. Felt a bit weak. Probably because I'm a bit of a dumb cunt. I didn't sleep enough last night. I was just G'd up on that drone dude editing some footage and shit. So it kept me up a little bit. I'm a bit of a dumb cunt for it. All right. I just finished up a two-hour bike ride with my mate Declan. Now I'm going to head back into town to meet Jess. Good bike ride, man. Bit harder than I expected. But, you know, when you're with another cunt, man, sometimes the pace just get turned up a little bit. And, you know, you just go with it, bro. Give me a hug. Wait, wait, wait. Watch out, bro. What? See how I save your life once nobody again? Nobody saved nobody. People are gonna say I beat you if you don't hug me and shit. You beat me every day. Wait, that was a solid ride. Where do you go? Down Beach Road, bro. Uh, he was a solid 2012. It's always good meeting someone who's like chill and like down to earth. A freak athlete. Yeah, he's a freak dude. I mean, freak <laughs> athlete. Shouts to Declan, by the way. Anytime I think triathlon, Jess, I think of like some like really dramatic Nutrigrain ad where like the sun's setting. Dude's been like like running for like the last 10 hours or some shit. For you guys who don't fucking know, triathlon's different to Iron Man. I'm probably the only cunt who didn't know that, eh? Got to go get some breakfast. Well, your face is looking fresh. You put on moisturizer? No, I forgot. It looks like a fresh red bean bun out of the oven, just like pasted in oil. Ew, no. Yeah, but like a good oil, like glossy, but not too glossy. <laughs> like my skin's hydrated, but it's not oily. Like a balance between both. Like not like I did 10 hits of moisturizer, just like two. It's meant to be that you take the escalator today. It's like the government's trying to fuck up my fucking physique. This is what they do. They try and turn you into a fat cunt man by blocking off the stairs. That's what the government tries to do to you. And then you know what, Jess? It comes back to Big Pharma always wins. I get fatter because they block off the stairs and then I buy more medication for my hypertension than Big Pharma wins. Fuck the government, man. That's how it works, doesn't it? Jess, you never understand. No. What's your so fuck? Oh, do they have English muffins with jam? Hey, 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 what you doing, man? You try to kill me. Jess, show them the new way we have to enter the building. Yeah? <laughs> then you have to come through this door. Ding, ding. Bang. This is like a big industrial lift. It feels like I'm in Resident Evil, eh, Jess? They want me to leave my bike over there. No fucking way, mate. Shit, shit. We gotta do all that just so that we don't bring the bikes through the main lobby. It's, yeah, fuck it, fuck it. We'll go, there's no more floors to go down, bro. Man, we don't want any bikes in this lift because the lift gets ruined and dirty by the bikes. So I'm like, okay, so I thought this guy was gonna show me like a different lift to take my bike up. He just showed me this like extravagant way to get in the building. I'd come up the exact same lift I'd come up usually if I came through the lobby. Isn't that fucking bizarre? How bizarre, eh? Allahu Akbar, we're home. Show him the profile of the ice tray. Look at the consistency. Oh um, yeah, no, you don't fill up the ice tray perfectly every time you fucking use it. So this year, my New Year's resolution is to fill this fucker up perfectly. Oh, you know what that's called? That's called smooth filling. Smooth filling. That's how you fill up a fucking ice tray. All right, guys, pro tip time. I'm gonna show you a new revolutionary, lightning quick, fast, easy, thermogenic, way to fill up your ice cubes, okay? The key point here is you can't have too much pressure coming through the pipes on the water. No, 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 it's not Yeah, me. Jess, why are you trying to fuck with me? I'm trying to show them my it, technique. It, it, this is an advanced move, and if you're a beginner, don't try this shit, okay? Just like that, guys. In the kitchen with Abdullah, masterclass style. All right, guys, this is what I'm having post-ride, post-training for breakfast. Show them this shit. We got blueberries, we got almond milk, we got fucking sugar in there. We got PB2 and we got a whole pack of broad beans. Got the healthy fats, got the healthy carbs, got the healthy uh, peanut butter flavoring. <laughs> oh, my toes are cramping. Then I got two hash browns. Oh my God. What, the oil? <laughs> yeah, see that shit? That's how you know it's quality. That's going straight into the muscle cell, Jess. Let me talk about these hash browns real quick. Jess, cut me off after a minute, otherwise we'll go all day, okay? Jess, I uploaded a photo of these hash browns, this exact breakfast two days ago when I went for a bike ride, right? Then I got all these people be like, oh my God, I can't believe you 
support McDonald's, can't believe you support McDonald's. I'm like, mate, 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 mate. Who the fuck do you think I am and what the fuck do you think this channel's about? Don't be commenting on my shit saying that shit. Like, what am I gonna do? Live in a fucking bubble? I like the taste of hash browns and I don't give a fuck about the meat of McDonald's because what I'm getting doesn't have fucking meat in it. It's fried in fucking canola oil, bro. What more can I do than check the website? Not support them? Why? If I don't get these hash browns for the reason that I'm, I'm supporting a big company that kills a lot of animals, well then there's a lot of shit in my life that I couldn't do. Like, I couldn't go to the Chinese restaurant and buy rice because they kill a lot of animals there because they serve a lot of fucking meat, don't they, Jess? How many regular people go to the Chinese restaurant and get a vegan option? The type of people who are going to comment and say that are the type of people, Jess, that would probably go to Zambrero's or their local burrito shop and get the vegan option while most of their sales come from selling chicken and meat and pork burritos. So it's the exact same fucking thing. If anything, can't you be coming and tap me on the shoulder and saying, Abdullah, well done, cunt. At least you can go to McDonald's and not get a quarter pounder for fucking breakfast. Like, what's the internet come to when an Arab man can't go for a bike ride and then go eat some hash browns and not get fucking hated on for it? Cunts get this shit twisted. It's just a choice. It's a choice of getting the quarter pounder or it's a fucking choice to get the vegan option at McDonald's. So I'm going to keep eating my fucking hash browns, Jess. Let's put it this way. McDonald's is never going to come up with a vegan option or a vegetarian option if there's no demand for it. So if vegetarians or vegans don't go to fucking McDonald's, well then McDonald's is going to have no demand or no push to go vegan or vegetarian. So motherfuckers like me that go there and get the vegan and vegetarian options or whatever, where the cunts are going to drive the change? You, who sit in your fucking room secluded and just hang out with a bunch of vegans and don't hang out with anyone else, you're not going to drive no change. You're not the driver of change. I'm the driver of change. You know why? Because I walk, talk, act like a fucking regular cunt. I eat regular fucking food. And then when cunts see me at the restaurant going, hey bro, give me the tofu and the rice at the regular restaurant with regular fucking people who smoke, drink, do all sorts of shit, they go, what the fuck? Abdullah's a cool dude. Why is he doing that? They get interested. Jeff! What? What shirt should I wear? You ready no. to go or what? I look like that Jamiroquai cunt. He's too short. Shout out to the cunt who said I look like Jamiroquai, by the way. <gasps> Show them the footwork, show them the footwork. So you think you can dance, come at me. <laughs> exactly. Road to Rio, Glucose Nation. Hey, hey, you're gonna get kicked out. Jess, how the fuck are they gonna pinpoint where that spit came from? DNA. Yeah, it's just going to like one of the other apartments. Fuck it. They're too loud at night anyway. This is my present to you guys. Now, yesterday I was at the camera shop and um... He passed by. <laughs> yeah, needless to say, I was like, I need to get a drone. Let me get down on one knee. You're too lazy, Jess, to stand up. I've had this drone on my mind for like a few months now. I sat back, I said, Abdullah, how are you gonna take this channel to the next level? I said, I'm already funny cunt. I already make the dopest <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Continue, continue. Biggest fucking natural shoulders on the planet, Jess. For the new subscribers, tell them what they are. The bazooka. Yeah, they're bazooka dells. I gotta keep motherfuckers up to date. I just wanna start making next level videos. Like the content I'm providing now, but with just like high level production value. But then it would just be, it would just be a mind fuck. I can't even fathom what the video would look like if I had some like time lapse sunset, time lapse sunrise, drone footage of me like walking to the 7 Eleven and taking a piss. It would just be mind boggling, guys. <laughs> We're about to go to the park and fly this shit. Last night I tried flying this shit in the house so I already. <laughs> It. It's like one of those things. It's like wearing clip-ins. If you've never worn clip-ins before, you're gonna crash. No matter if you think you're fucking Louis Vuitton. Well, who's the other cunt? Armani. 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 Giorgio. 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 My boy Giorgio Armani. Coco Chanel. Even if you're those motherfuckers, you're still gonna crash. It's just like the drone. Even if you're the best motherfucker on Flight Simulator, you're still gonna crash. So I'm about to just, I'm about to do this. The What's hover. this? I'm about to hover. I'm about to get the Steven Spielberg shots. Soon they're gonna start calling me Jihadi Hollywood. Are you racist or something, Jess? I'm yellow. You aren't yellow, man. You tan, bro. Call like, call like, call like. Come show them how I pack the stuff up, man. Don't you put it just in the bag. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is drone life. Jess, we've just entered a whole new realm of equipment. I never understood the motherfuckers that spent like $100, like $200 on a pair of underwear. Bro, the underwear's not going to make your dick look any better. Maybe if I was getting paid to take a photo shoot, but anyway, my titties are too big, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be catalogued. Yeah. <laughs> Point is here, you've got to be comfortable in your own skin. That's hey, wait, wait, what do they call it? Body love. Body love. <laughs> I'm body loving myself. Shout out to everyone who does the body love thing. Don't Come fuck on. up. Why do you have to say that, man? Oh, there you go. Like that, Glucose Nation. Spin those fuckers off. One propeller. Jess, why do I even train and I can't take off these little wimpy fucking propellers? Is it too late now to say Dway Poutine? Show them that. Show them the specs. Let me hoist you up. Let me hoist you up. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. <laughs> oh, your skin's so soft, man. Oh, it'd be like putting your dick in pudding, man. Pudding? Yeah, pudding, nice soft pudding, man, you know? 
My hamstrings are so tight. Guys, never do single leg leg curls. Shock the muscle, hey? Confusion. I saw that on a muscular development fucking video, Jess. MDTV. How do you know that? Okay. Jess, you know all these things I just wish you don't know. It's scary. Some things aren't just meant for your eyes. <laughs> like me taking a piss or the shit coming out of my asshole. I never want to see you take a shit, Jess. Right now, I'm under the assumption that you don't go to the toilet. I just gotta let you use the internet. You go there to read emails. Oh, yeah. we, gotta be, we, gotta, we gotta get a move on before I have to fucking cut an hour's worth of footage. I'm making my job hard for myself. 10 minutes. This <laughs> always fucking happens. Run, Jeff. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last night, bro, I crashed into a wall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I will. Even then, like, I'm tripping out, the air's so thin, they probably don't even work up there. You would have seen that fucking, uh, that north-south dude. Dude, that's what got me jacked up to get a drone, because I saw that and I was like, oh my god, this is the most sick shit I've ever fucking seen. Shout out to Daniel Bovolino. Go check out Daniel's website. I'll link the website in the description below. It feels good to be able to say that, Jess. He's off to Chiang Mai on Monday. Lucky cunt. There's nothing more than I like. Seeing cunts who have a passion for something and just succeeding in that passion and then getting to do the dopest shit on the planet, like travel the world and do shit you love. I get off watching that, Jess. The point is, do what you love, be good enough at it, and then the universe works itself out. How Jess, I can't open this shit. It's like I buy this fucking drone and I can't even get it out of the fucking box. Now I'm gonna take this fucker out. Bang. I gotta give a shout out to DJI for something so like high tech. It's not a big setup, hey. Now, Jess, don't call me the weatherman, but it's kind of fucking windy. Now, guys, if this shit crashes, Allahu Akbar, I don't really give a fuck. What can you do? You can't live your life in fear, Jess, hey. You can't. You can't. Spin, spin, cunt, spin. All right, so we got the first propeller on. I think the propellers, Jess, they're like bike pedals. When you put a bike pedal on, you put the bike pedal on, you don't need to wrench that fucker until you snap the crank. Well, you're not going to snap the crank because you're a weak cunt. Wait, well, like, who's strong enough to snap a crank? Unless you're that Russian cunt. Who's the Russian cunt who powered the toaster thing? The track rider, Jess. A houseman cunt. But if you're not that houseman cunt, hey, put the bike pedals on and then every fucking rotation, that bike pedal's going to get tighter. So I have a feeling that this is like the drone. Jess, next thing you know, the fucking, the, these things will come off because I didn't do them tight enough. <laughs> This is where you put your phone or your fucking tablet. Bang, phone goes right there. High tech shit always has like a hard way to turn the shit on. Bang, bang. You hear that sound? That means you're fucking gravy. Plug this fucker in like that, right? This thing sounds like a fucking, when I hear that Jess, I really start freaking out. It sounds like a Star Trek ship about to take fucking off and it stresses me out. Key point here is, calm down. I'm about to calibrate this fucking glucose station. 360. Now I'm the most uncoordinated fucker on the planet. So it's upgrading now, we're upgrading, we're at 1%. We're about to take off Glucose Nation. Fly it towards me. I can't. What's up? Let's go. Let's go, man. Why are you following it? You just stand in one corner. What's fucking going on, man? What's fucking going on, like? Hey. Wait, wait, I'm gonna bring it towards me. Fuck you, man. No, don't move. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. Hey Jess, I'm already a professional flyer if you can't tell this shit. All those years, Jess, watching Star Trek with my dad, they've paid off. I feel like Captain Picard. Are you going back and forth? Hey, you better pull up, man. You better pull up, man. That's all. Hey! <laughs> Watch the slow and scenic Steven Spielberg cinematics. This is gonna look great when I take a piss. I need to get you schooled on Drone 101 so I can be sitting there taking a piss, right? Jess, I'm starting to love getting into this camera type shit. I never thought that I'd actually love it. Now I like, I get G'd up on it, eh? Tour Down Under's next week, I'm going to Adelaide. And we're gonna have some fucking dope footage coming from there. Alright, so this is the SD card from the drone. I'm gonna plug that into this adapter into the computer and see what the footage looks like. The footage looked hell shitty on my fucking phone. It's probably shitty because it's on my phone. Hopefully it looks better on iMovie. Why is she going back and- Skips. Great white sharks, the 38 with tarnished tip 27 years, I never met an honest bitch Slice her faces like a ton of shit Do my nasal blow the smoke that's the end of the vlog. Thanks for watching, mate. Like, share, comment, subscribe, share with your mum, share with your sister, share with your reference, smash, we support, game, man. Show me to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, fucking Instagram, fucking YouTube, like, shout out to my boy, fucking Edge. I'll see you on the fucking two tomorrow, like, peace. Yeah.
pretenders, yeah. I'll stop you in your tracks if you stop with me. We rap so fat they clog your arteries. I'm so inventive with my artistry. I break round like earthquakes and part the seas. Be a smart and see, stop. I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup. It becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend.